Welcome to Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada's Leading Your Level Training for Junior Volunteers. Today we'll learn what is a junior, what do juniors do, the Girl Scout Leadership Experience, Junior Development, and we'll take a look ahead. What is a junior? A junior is a registered Girl Scout member in the fourth or fifth grade. They are the third Girl Scout age level. Juniors wear a uniform to show they are a part of the Girl Scout movement and to display their badges and insignia. The junior uniform is a green vest or sash, a white top, and khaki pants or skirt. What do juniors do? Juniors earn badges by learning and exploring new skills and ideas. There are so many badge topics, some of which include the outdoors, STEM, financial literacy, art, science, cooking, and more. Badges build skills that can then be used to earn badges in the same category as they bridge. A junior can learn skills working on an art badge that she then can use to help her earn an art badge when she is a cadet. Badges can be earned individually, as a troop, or at a program or event. There's a badge for anything your junior Girl Scout might be interested in, like learning about government or being a business owner. A journey is a leadership experience that encourages girls to take action in their world while learning new things and earning awards. There are journey books and adult guides that can be used to facilitate the journey, or you can find this information on the Volunteer Toolkit. Depending on what is best for you and your juniors, journeys can be done over several short meetings, one or two longer events, and alongside other activities and programs. All journeys end in a take action project where girls make a difference in their community. There are seven journey topics for juniors. It's your story, tell it. It's your planet, love it. It's your world, change it. Think like an engineer. Think like a citizen scientist. Think like a programmer and the outdoors. The Girl Scout Bronze Award is the highest award a junior can earn. Girls develop a girl-led, sustainable project that addresses the root of a need in their community. Girls can work as individuals, small groups, or as a troop. Each girl must dedicate at least 20 hours to the project. Girls who earn the Bronze Award are honored annually in the highest award ceremony. There are additional awards that juniors can earn. The Summit Award is earned when a Girl Scout completes three journeys in a single age level. The My Promise, My Faith Award compares the Girl Scout promise and law to tenants in individual girls' religious faiths. The Global Action Award is an international award that is earned when girls complete activities surrounding a certain topic. Past topics have included poverty and education for women. World Thinking Day is an award that is also internationally earned by girls across the world. This encourages girls to look at their community and the world around them and to learn about new cultures. The cookie activity pin is earned when girls participate in the cookie program. The safety award is earned when girls learn what to do in an emergency and how to keep themselves and others safe. And the junior aid patch is earned by juniors who assist brownies in the bridging process. This award is only earned by juniors. Juliet Gordon Lowe said, this badge is not a reward for something you have done once or for an examination you have passed. 
Badges are not medals to wear on your sleeve to show what a smart girl you are. A badge is a symbol that you have done the thing it stands for often enough, thoroughly enough, and well enough to be prepared to give service in it. Each Girl Scout should have her own Girl Scout experience, and the girl who has a vest with every single badge and award on it is no more a Girl Scout than the girl who has one or two. Girls are encouraged to experience the world around them and earn badges they are interested in, not just earning badges to earn an award. There are a variety of resources for Girl Scout volunteers. First, Girl Scouting should be a family affair, so get the families and caregivers of your Girl Scouts involved in your troop. You never know what resources they can contribute. Look for assistance from your service unit who may put on programs and hold meetings to help you run your troop. The Volunteer Toolkit is an online resource run by Girl Scouts of the United States. This can help you manage your troop, plan meetings, and even send emails. Safety Activity Checkpoints is a resource that helps you keep your girls safe. It lets you know what activities are appropriate for what age level, lets you know what equipment you might need, and provides resources for accommodating girls with disabilities. Volunteer Essentials is the guiding document of policies and procedures for Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada. This has all of our essential information for our volunteers, including girl-to-adult ratio and any other safety and policy we may have in place. The program and training guide is put out annually with a variety of girl programs and adult trainings available to Girl Scout members. And the Girl Guides and Journey books are available in the Girl Scout shop and online to help you facilitate badges and journey. The Girl Scout Leadership Experience, or the GSLE. The Girl Scout Leadership Experience consists of the three keys, discover, connect, and take action, and the three program processes, girl-led, learning by doing, and cooperative learning. When those six parts of the GSLE are put together in a program or event, it comes into our short-term outcomes. These are a strong sense of self, positive values, challenge seeking, healthy relationships, and community problem solving. All of these together lead to our long-term outcome, which is the Girl Scout mission statement. Girl Scouts builds girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. The Girl Scout Leadership Experience encompasses skill building activities like badges and leadership building activities like journeys and put them together to make the GSLE. Girl led programming is an important part of the GSLE. Girls are never too young to help with the decisions of the troop. And starting when the girls are young sets the tone for stronger girl-led planning in the future. Girls should be empowered to make many of the troop's decisions as a group. When activities are girl-led, we see participation increase and that girls are more engaged in Girl Scouts. But having a girl-led troop doesn't mean you're giving your girls all the control. Ask questions. Find out what they are interested in and go from there. Take votes and surveys to decide activities. As they get older, girls can handle more responsibility and more decisions. At the junior level, let them choose from a short list of ideas. Start small, but let their involvement grow with them. Older girls should be doing the lion's share of the planning. So as your girls get older, your role as a leader should get smaller. One of the ways to have a girl-led troop is to incorporate a troop government. Patrols are a type of troop government that works best with large groups. Divide the troop up into small working groups with an elected patrol leader. 
The trolls gather their ideas for the patrol leaders, and the patrol leaders make decisions based on those suggestions. A steering committee is another option. This has a leadership team that is voted in by the troop and makes plans and assigns jobs for the entire troop. Troops decide in advance how suggestions and ideas are passed to the committee. And finally, town meeting. This has the whole troop involved in discussions, decisions, and plans. There's a moderator that's chosen to guide those discussions to make sure that they don't go off the rails, but every girl has an opportunity to voice their opinion. This works best in smaller groups. Junior development. Each Girl Scout is unique and has different needs, interests, and levels of development. Some girls may exhibit traits of slightly older girls, while others may still be developing. It is important to keep in mind the differences in their emotional, social, physical, and intellectual characteristics. Socially, juniors are more susceptible to peer pressure. They can become critical of others and they want a sense of belonging. They grow very close with their groups of friends. Emotionally, they can dramatize things and be overly critical of themselves. They do not like to try new things alone, but they want more responsibility and independence. Physically, you may see signs of puberty and changes in the body. They're very self-conscious about the differences in physical appearance and they're high energy and tire less easily. Intellectually, they prefer silent reading and have a deeper understanding of cause and effect. They want to express their opinions and they can complete tasks in a sequence. Looking ahead to cadets. What cadets do, they have journeys and badges. Some of the badges that cadets earn are cadet first aid, marketing, and new cuisines. Bridging to cadets. The first step in bridging to cadets is sharing the talents and skills by teaching brownies. This shows brownies what it means to be a Girl Scout junior. Gather a bronze award group and hold a question and answer session. Invite girls your age who aren't Girl Scouts to join you in a fun activity. When you're assisting brownies in bridging to juniors, you earn the Junior Aid Award. The second step is to look ahead. Talk and spend time with your cadet sisters. Ask a cadet to talk to you about her experiences. Find girls who have earned the Silver Award and ask them for tips and advice. And talk to cadets about their experiences and how they made their community better. Thank you for attending Leading Your Level training for junior volunteers. In order to receive credit for this training, please follow the link below in order to show that you have completed this training. This link is also included in the video description below this video. If you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to contact us at customer service at girlscoutsnv.org. Thank you.